Hello, this is Eric from Flex PVC, and I'm going to do a video today. Hopefully, it will not be too long because it's very hot, and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt for some stupid reason. Okay, um, I want to talk about bulkhead fittings, and there's a lot to talk about, so this might get to be a long video. I'm sorry. I'll go as quickly as I can and still explain everything. Okay, uh, bulkhead fitting. This is a bulkhead fitting. It's a dirty one. Excuse me. Uh, but basically, a bulkhead fitting is a hollow bolt, okay? Let me just clean this off a little bit real quick. Yes, I should have done this before I started. I'm sorry. I thought I already did them all. Okay, anyways, so it's a hollow bolt, okay? You can see through it, uh, and the idea is you put a pipe in here, pipe in here, or you could put a nipple in here, nipple in here, or any sort of fitting on this side, fitting on this side. Now, it's a hollow bolt, which means you cut a hole, through a bulkhead, which means like the wall of a tank or the wall of a uh, like aquarium or a cooler or whatever. We do lots of those. And it comes apart. All right. Okay, so here's the one part. This goes through the wall. Then you, well, actually, you put the washer on first. The washer should go on the wet side. So if this is, a, if this is an aquarium, this would be the wet side here. This goes through the aquarium wall here. And then you put a nut on the back. Now, there are things to consider about bulkhead fittings. First is the connection point, okay? This is three quarter, yeah, this is three quarter, which means in this case, this bulkhead is slip by thread. That means I have a slip socket, it's probably not gonna be in focus, but I got a slip socket on this side, and I've got female threads here. You never connect to the outside, you're only gonna connect to the inside, okay? There's a few rare cases, but those are pretty much defunct and they don't exist anymore. But Bulkhead fittings always connect to the inside, right? In this particular case, we've got three quarter on the back. So example, I can take a three quarter nipple. This would be my connection point, okay? So when you specify a bulkhead fitting, you're gonna have four possibilities. Slip, 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 thread, thread, slip, and thread, thread. And I'll show you examples of those in, a, in just a moment. That's the first consideration. Second consideration is what is the wall thickness? Here, what is the wall thickness? Now. Most of the bulkhead fittings we have, it's on the website. It'll tell you exactly what the wall thickness is. Uh, this particular one, it's a three quarter. Uh, you got maybe an inch and a quarter here, all right? But if you go to a different one, this is a two inch, you'll have a different wall thickness. This is almost two inches, about an inch and three quarters, okay? All right. So you got connection point, you got configuration. Slip thread, thread slip, thread thread, or slip slip. And all those are on the website. Every one's available in every version. Walk thickness. Now the last one is the hole size. And this is where all the trouble comes in. People say, I want a one inch bulkhead to put through a one inch hole. Doesn't work that way, okay? The hole size is independent of the connection point size and it's independent of the manufacturer of the bulkhead, and it's independent of the schedule of the bulkhead. Now, this is a ABS bulkhead. You can glue PVC to it as long as it's not a pressure situation. It'll take a little bit of pressure. It depends on your glue joint. Uh, this is a one inch, okay? It's a little bit bigger, inch and a quarter, but this is a different kind. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Uh, this is an inch and a half, and I already showed you the two inch. Okay, so you have to look on the website. Once you decide your connection point, you look in the details, and it'll tell you hole size. As a matter of fact, there's a chart up at the top of every page on the bulkhead fittings, and well, almost every page, and it will give you the hole size based on your connection point. There's Schedule 80 bulkhead fittings. They are very, 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 very expensive. You only need them on high pressure situations. Contact us if you need them. We have some on the website. There's more available. Most of the common ones are on the website, but they are very expensive. You're talking a few dollars, maybe $10. You get in the Schedule 80, you're talking you're thar starting at 30 or 40, and you can get up to $200, $300 for a bulkhead fitting in Schedule 80. So pay attention to what your needs are before you order your bulkhead fitting. Now, all of these are right-hand thread which means when you tighten this down, it's just like a regular bolt. You righty-tighty, as you're looking at it, righty-tighty tightens it up. 
Now, there's a problem with that. If you buy a thread here, okay, so this is thread on the back by a socket on the front. And if you use a right hand thread, okay, that's going to tighten down. And then you put your threaded nipple, sorry, one inch didn't bring one. Yeah, here we go, one inch, okay. There is the possibility that if you ever have to unscrew this, you could theoretically unscrew this from the wall. Actually, if you unscrew it, yeah, it's the other way around. If you screw it in, sorry, if you screw it in, you will untighten it here because you're going this way, which is moving the nut backwards, okay? So they have what's called reverse thread. Reverse thread is lefty tighty, righty loosey, okay? And all of those are threaded, all the reverse thread our threaded female pipe thread on the inside. All these are female pipe thread. So if you're gonna use a nipple, you should consider using a reverse thread if you're ever gonna take the nipple in and out, okay? If you're not gonna take the nipple in and out or male adapter or whatever, you know, male pipe thread connection, then uh, it doesn't matter. Most of the time I recommend people to buy glue in. This is pipe goes in here, pipe goes in here, you glue it in, you're set, okay? If you have to take it apart, Yes, you might have to cut this off or something, but as long as everything's working like it's supposed to, you shouldn't have to take this apart. So, to review, connection point, what size pipe you're going to connect, configuration, glue in, glue in, thread, glue in, glue in, thread, 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 okay? And then your hole size. Everybody wants to start with a hole size. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so just pay attention to that. When you look on our website, you'll see the chart that gives you your whole size based on your connection point. Okay, now that's for standard bulkhead fittings. And I went over this really quickly, okay? So I'm sorry, but that's just how I have to do it. Only so much time. Okay, now we have extra long custom length bulkhead fittings, okay? Custom long, uh, custom extra length, uh, extra long custom length bulkhead fittings. Now, like for example, this is about a two inch wall X, I think it's an inch and a quarter, but what happens if your wall thickness is two and a half? Then you need a custom one, not this long of course, but you need a custom one a little bit longer, okay? Generally, we can make them for you. But understand this, when we make a custom bulkhead fitting, here's your nut, okay? There's your nut. So your wall thickness is this much, okay? Generally, we try and give you plus or minus a half an inch. Now, on a big long one like this, it's no big deal. But if we were to have a small one, which I don't have, but if we were to have a small one, that plus or minus half inch can make a big difference. So you'll really want to pay attention to that. We tell people, very, very carefully, measure your wall thickness. And for a lot of you guys that are using coolers, bait tanks, things like that, when you tighten the nut, it is going to compress your wall. Okay, it's going to... With this, I've seen these things go down half an inch at least, okay, because the walls are not solid. So when you do your wall thickness, make sure that you compress it and take your measurement. So that way you'll get the right bulkhead fitting, okay? So I hope you found this useful. I'm sorry, I thought I actually did this a long time ago, but evidently I went looking on our website, on our YouTube channel, and I didn't see it. So if you have any questions about bulkhead fittings, call me. We're answering phones from 10 to 4 Pacific time, Monday through Friday. Email almost forever. Uh, I check my emails even on the weekends and early in the morning and late in the evening. So send me an email if you have any questions. That's your best way to get a response. All right, this has been Eric at flexpvc.com. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.